Hi folks, and welcome to a video on how to waste your time uh, and money mining Bitcoin. My name is Rob, and today I'm going to walk you through my setup and talk a little bit about um, how I'm wasting my time and not making any money doing this, but learning lots. It's lots of fun. Bitcoin uh, is a fairly interesting concept, and maybe one day it will have practical value. Uh, but for now, I think um, mining is certainly not the way to make money. All right, so let's talk about my setup a little bit here. Um, I'm running uh, a fairly inexpensive uh, ASIC miner. It's an Antminer U3, which is uh, probably about 50 bucks on Amazon. And uh, paired that up with a Raspberry Pi 2, which is um, you know about a $65, I think, single board computer uh, running Linux. And uh, the mining software I'm using is called CG Miner, and it's a free open source uh, mining application, which I uh, compiled on the Raspberry Pi and got up and running with my little piece of hardware. I'm not going to go into technical details about the software. Um, there's plenty of places online you can go for that. Um, it was fairly straightforward. You just have to, uh, you know, read the readme, and uh, you should be good to go. So uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, how I'm all set up here. Uh, as you can see, um, I've got CG Miner up and running. Uh, I am running with the standard um, default settings for voltage and um, uh, frequency of the processor which is a 225 megahertz at 775 millivolts. Uh, that's the uh, default set by CG Miner. Um, I think if you look at the U3 documentation, it you know, suggests um, a higher, a little bit of a higher value, um, but I chose to just run it at, uh, at these settings. Um, these, the unit does pump out a lot of heat when it's running, um, as well as the power supply uh, pumps out a lot of heat, so you probably don't want to be um, overclocking this more than you really have to, uh, given how much heat comes out of this thing, unless you start supplementing, um, you know, the, uh, the cooling system for both the unit and the power supply. I'm averaging about 55, uh, 56, 57, uh, giga hashes. You can see my average up here. Um, it seems to be a little bit on the low side right now, but it, sometimes it does go up to 56, 57. Uh, when you look at the actual, um, sort of real time, uh, calculation you can you can see depending on how difficult the hash it's working on uh, this number here um, you know I've seen that up into this, the upper 60s I've even sit, seen it hit 70 once um, but I think consistently I'm around 56 uh, giga hashes given the um, um, power settings and uh, uh, heat dissipation I guess of the unit so um, mining uh, the way I'm set up I'm connected to uh, it says you're connected to multiple pools um, I actually have two uh, configurations going here. My first uh, configuration is um, pointed at a, at a pool, at a, at a bit mining pool, um, which basically just generates some consistent revenue for me. Um, uh, and when I say consistent revenue, uh, please understand that you, I'm not making money here. Um, I think I've had this thing running for three weeks. I've made 0 0.008 bitcoins, which I think translates to something like two bucks American. Um, so, you know, probably spent 10 bucks on electricity uh, and didn't even pay for, you know, not even including the cost of the hardware in my time. So I'm losing money, um, but it's fun. I'm, I'm, I'm learning a lot. Um, the other 50% of the time my pool is, uh, or, or my unit is mining um, against uh, a Bitcoin core instance I have running here locally, uh, which basically means I'm solo mining. I'm playing the lottery. I'm trying to hit uh, that magic um, packet that's going to give me a, a 25 Bitcoin payout. Uh, which I don't expect to hit ever. Um, so I've set my expectations low, and uh, uh, if I hit it, I guess it's like winning the lottery, right? Uh, you know, you buy your lottery ticket and you hope to win, but you never do. So when you do, okay, you won. Um, I'm, it's kind of like that. It's the difficulty level, which you can see up here, the current difficulty, 52.3G. Not 100% sure what the G stands for, but I, I can tell you that uh, basically, if you took 52 coins um, and threw them up into the air, up into the air, and um, when they all hit the ground, if they all hit heads, um, you know you can consider yourself a winner, uh, and that's pretty much the statistics or the chances you have of, of actually um, uh, hitting that that 25 Bitcoin payout. It's very slim. You're not going to make it. The difficulty is too high. There's too many people mining with too much hardware and there's too much power, um, and it's just going to get worse because. Um, as the hardware gets faster, the people who bought the faster hardware want faster hardware, so they start dumping their older hardware. Other people start picking it up. At the end of the day, you have more people mining um, than you know every day than than you did in the past. And you know, a couple of years ago, it might have been a way of making some money. 
today, there's absolutely um, no way you're going to make anything uh, off of this. So it's a learning experience. Do it for fun. Uh, play around with it. And, uh, but don't expect to, to make any money. This is not a way to learn, uh, to earn a, a, an income. Um, flipping burgers at a burger joint will be more guaranteed revenue than um, what's going to happen if you start into this endeavor. Uh, unless, of course, you're borrowing someone else's money, then knock yourself out. <laughs> but uh, that's not reality. All right, well, that's it. I uh, Just quick and dirty, wanted to show you what I got and how things are running. Um, quick thoughts on the U3, actually, before I go. Uh, it's been stable. Um, I find every two or three days it is zombing out. Um, I'm not sure what's causing it. I'm not sure if it's um, something to do with the Raspberry Pi, something to do with the unit, something to do with um, power, heat. I'm not sure. Um, my quick fix of resetting it really is just unplugging the unit, uh, the ant miner, from the Raspberry Pi by the USB plug. So uh, if I flip back to my um, to my USB here uh, or the Raspberry Pi, I just grab the cable out of the Raspberry Pi, just pull it out, plug it back in a few seconds later, and then CG miner redetects it and it starts hashing again. So it's not like the thing's completely locked up. Um, it just seems like the USB bus, you know, just seems to lose sync and lose communications. And I'm not sure what side it's happening on. Um, the other thing uh, that I did tra try and change as well is the uh, power supply. I did put a different power supply on there. I have an old school linear power supply, you know, big transformer and everything, a heat sink, um, uh, you know, giving uh, six amp continuous 12 volts. And that did not really seem to make much of a difference in terms of how often the unit zombies. Um, I think I put that new power supply on a few days ago. It's only zombied once, uh, whereas with the power supply the unit came with, it was uh, zombying, you know, every second day for sure. Um, so is it the power supply? I don't know. Maybe, you know, cooling makes a difference. Get power supply in a cooler spot. Maybe that makes a difference. I don't know. Um, but uh, it, it looks like there's just, you know, some loss of communications somewhere and i don't really think it's a hardware problem but it, it might be so those are my thoughts uh you know as long as you're around to uh to uh, care and feed for it every every day or every other day um you know running one of these things from home um you know provided you don't mind paying for the electricity uh is certainly a doable option i wouldn't store this somewhere in a warehouse somewhere that you don't plan on going to too often because uh, you will be rebooting this thing or, or at least resetting it quite often other than that, like I said, pretty consistent 56 gig of hash. And um, yeah, I've made two bucks or whatever. So that's all I got. Um, I hope this was useful to you. Thanks for watching. Take care.